thought I'd take the time to talk about some special case chords that happen in soundtrack and symphonic music. The first of these is Bernard Herrmann's psycho chord that he used in Alfred Hitchcock's film of the same name. Basically have something like B flat minor major seven. F, B flat, D flat, A natural. And the tension comes from hearing this major seven on top and then having this shuttling back and forth between minor and major. So just simple triads. But that note on top gives it all the tension that Harmon wanted to convey for the telling of Hitchcock's story. Another fingering down here, same chord. Third fret, third, second, fifth. And one strategy if you have chords that are hard to finger quickly is to move them to a position where you might have open strings. So in this case, that chord, and I think by hearing it, that Herrmann actually used this in the soundtrack too, that this movement of key. So I've just moved down a bit. I'm at the first fret, first fret, open, open, and third. While we're at it, Arnold Schoenberg, in his five pieces for orchestra, opus 16, number three, wrote his famous Farben chord or color chord. This kind of thing hadn't been done before, really. I can't think of any precedents for this. And it's cited in theory books and uh, in technical manuals. So I'm gonna voice it this way with low E, but you're gonna have a hard time hearing this E as the, as the root. So quite a wild thing there. I'm thinking of this as B sharp, D sharp, D, G sharp, and C sharp with an E on the bottom. But, so if you've not heard that work, Five Pieces for Orchestra, Opus 16, Number 3 by Arnold Schoenberg. That's the famous Farben chord. And then finally, one of my favorite composers, Alban Berg, in Wozzeck, scene one, act three, Marie sings an aria, and this chord gets into the action. With a change to a very bright, straight old E major triad there. This thing. I would think it's from the whole tone scale. F note here. So all we have is D, G, C, and a G sharp up here, or A flat, to an F, and then an E triad. If you listen to these in the context of Wozzeck, uh, they're quite moving harmonies, really beautiful, I think. So I hope you've enjoyed this little look at the uh, some strange special case chords, and I will try to put links in the description to where you can hear these things or parts of them. Thanks for listening, and I appreciate your kind attention.